Hi guys, this is Param here back again. Welcome to my second video tutorial for Google Ad Manager. In this video, I'll be assisting you guys set up a Google Ad Manager account from scratch. In addition, I'll also help you navigate across to the Ad Manager UI and help you understand the important sections. We'll be focusing on delivery and inventory sections in this video. We'll set up the inventory by creating ad units, generating its code and implementing it on the site. Once the inventory is set up, we'll be scheduling ads by creating orders, line item, and creatives to the inventory we just set up. Now we'll see how to actually set up your Google Ad Manager account. Google Ad Manager account is automatically set up by Google once your AdSense is fully approved and it's a non-hosted account as I've already mentioned earlier. Now, to access it, all you need to do is navigate to the admanager.google.com and you know this is the first URL we are actually looking for. So don't get confused when it says here Google DFP. You know, I'll tell you why. Earlier, Ad Manager was called as Google DFP. So this was a double click product earlier and it was called double click for publishers. Right now, Google has removed the DFP naming conviction and they're trying to show that it's all Google in here. So don't worry, just click on the first link and navigate and follow along all the instructions. I'm not doing it right now because I've already set up. Once you're done following on the instructions, you will lead to a screen that shows you the UI something like this. And this is what you're looking for. And that's it guys, your ad manager is set up. Congratulations. Inventory is used to create and organize ad slots on your sites. By ad slots, we mean the placeholders on your site where the ads will actually serve. In terms of offline advertising, these are the billboards where you can serve any advertisement of your choice. So you must have seen banners, you know, when you cross the road or, you know, when you're traveling. So these are the placeholders. So we are simply talking about the placeholder, not the actual ad. Navigate towards inventory and go to ad units. Once you're there, go to new ad units. Now simply provide an ad unit name and ad unit code. So kindly ensure that you use the same name and same code because this is the UI representation of the ad unit. So this name would be used in the ad manager UI whereas this is the code representation. So this would be used while an ad slot is created. So please ensure that this name and the code are the same to avoid any confusion for the future. Now description is an optional field. You can use it if you actually want to mention something about the uh, the ad unit. So we're skipping it for now. Size, you can simply provide a size. So I'm selecting in 300 cross 250. So this actually represents the medium rectangle. Now there's an important setting that we need to be aware of. So this is the target window. So target window applies that what will happen to the landing page URL when you click on the ad. So whether that landing page URL would be open in the same tab or in the next tab that is determined by this setting. So if it is set to underscore blank, it will open in a new window and that's what is recommended and that's what most advertisers and most site owners want. So I'll recommend that you set it to underscore blank. Now uh, you can skip the remaining section and you can simply click on save. These are the sections that are good to know and you know you can explore them later on but these are needed for now. So that's it, your ad unit is actually created. Now how do we actually generate code for that? You simply find that ad unit that we actually created. Go to the tag section, click on continue, leave settings as it is, click on continue again and that's it, voila, we have the tags. So these tags would be used to create an ad slot on your website. So there are two sections of your ad, one is the header section and another is the body section. So this would be needed to be pasted in the, inside your head section of your website whereas this would be needed to place in the body section of your website. We 
discussed about creating ad tags for ad units and we now know to create an ad slot we need to actually generate tags in the ad manager ui and place them in the head and body sections of your website html now for most of the people you can send this code to your development team and have it implemented however if you're a small developer or if you're a standalone publisher you must be wondering what should you should do next now don't worry guys i'll be showing you how to get it implemented we'll be setting up a local wordpress environment using local which is a great tool to set up local web environments for wordpress now why i have chosen wordpress wordpress is one of the most famous cms that is currently in the market and it's nearly powering 20 percent of the world's website to download local navigate to localwp.com once you're inside the website, you can see the download button in the top right corner. If you're visiting this website after a long time, so this button might change. So right now, you can simply go ahead and click on the download. Once you click on the download, you can select the platform of your choice. And uh, after that, you can fill in your relevant details. Your first name, your last name, your email and phone number. Once you click on get it now, your file will actually start downloading. After your file downloads, I'll request you to actually install the local on your machine and follow along with the next steps in this video tutorial. Let's now proceed to create a site using local. This site would be a playground for us to implement the tags we generate from the ad manager UI. So to get started, simply click on the plus button, the leftmost corner. Let's provide in a site name. Click on continue. Keep in the defaults in here. Provide a username and password that you'll actually be able to remember. So I'm just providing in here admin and admin. Just verifying that I provided correct. Okay, so it has a caps lock. So going in for the small case now. Providing in an email ID. So this email ID can be used in place of your username as well. Clicking on add site. Now that's it, guys. That is all you need to actually set up a site using local. Now, local will perform all its instructions and will set up a site for you. And that's how simple it is. So, I'll suggest you pause the video here and come back and follow along once your site is fully installed. Let's now implement the header and body tags inside the website we actually create. So, Go to the website. This is how the WordPress tag can actually looks like. So if you are a developer, you would be familiar with all the things. If you are a newbie, please don't worry if you do not understand all the things. Please follow along with the steps in this video tutorial and you should be all good. Go to the appearance tab, navigate to theme editor. Inside the theme editor, there will be a special file called as a header.php. So you find it here, here it is. Once you open header.php, you'll see in the head and you'll see in a body section of the website. So that's it guys, that is the place we were actually looking for. We can now go in inside the back inside the ad manager UI, copying the tag in from here, the header tag and implement it inside the head. Now go back copy in the body tag and implement it inside the body section. That's it guys, your ad unit is created. But how do we actually check whether we created it correctly? Now let's open the front end of the website. Still, you know, I do not see any, any anything here. However, if you actually look closely, we are able to see a Google Publisher console. Now, this Google Publisher console is actually telling us our ad unit was actually created. And how do I verify that you know the, there is no issues in our ad code? There is a tick mark in here that says our page is correctly tagged. So that's it guys, congratulations, you have set up your ad unit correctly. Now here our Google console opened in, op opened in automatically because I had already opened it. However, if you need to open it yourself, you need to append question mark google fc so this is the shortcut to actually open in the publisher console 
So once you apply this to the, to the end of the URL of any website, you'll be able to open up the Google Publisher console. And this will list out all the ad units on your site. Now, uh, we still do not see the ad. Why? You know, that would be taken care by the delivery section. Let's understand the delivery now. Until now, we have been focusing on setting up the inventory, but now we'll be focusing on creating the actual ad. Delivery section contains your actual advertisement. Now, let's quickly understand what is included inside the delivery section. It's composed of an hierarchy of three things, your orders, your line item, and your creatives. So let's dissect each of them. Order mainly refers to the campaign name. Now, for instance, Mintra might want to set up a campaign to promote the summer collection of clothing. So the campaign might be Mintra's summer collection. Once the campaign is set up, we'll move forward to actually setting up the ad, which is controlled by the line items. Line items control the settings of your ad, like for instance, when your would campaign start, which inventory or geography your campaign would target, how many impressions would serve for the particular ad. All these settings are controlled at the line item level. Lastly, we have the ad itself and this is called creative inside the ad manager. There may be several types of creative formats like an image, an HTML5 file or a third party code. Now we are inside the delivery section of the ad manager UI. The goal now is to actually serve ads inside the ad slot we just created. To get started, simply navigate to orders inside delivery and click on new order. Before actually providing in the name and you know the further details of the order, let's assume a quick scenario in which we are assuming that KFC is an advertiser that has approached us and they are willing to pay us $1 CPM and they want us to serve 1000 impressions. 1000 impressions means 1000 page loads of their ad. So this is the deal we have from the client. Now, with that in mind, let's proceed to actually create order. I generally follow a name and convection for the order. So I start with the site name. So we have actually provided our site with the name ad manager. That's actually weird. But for, uh, just for the same of name and convection, we'll provide the site name. Followed by the advertiser. So we just, you know, mentioned that KFC has actually approached us. Now, KFC wants to run their ads in April, so we are just providing in the month and followed by the year. Now, in the advertiser, we are providing in the advertiser. Please note, the advertiser are the people who are actually paying us. So, advertiser are the people who pay to serve ads on our website and we, the website owner or the site owners are called publishers. So, this distinction should be clear to you. Now, go ahead and click on add line item. Select display because this course currently focuses on display. Now provide in the name of the line item. For the name of the line item, I prefer providing the same name as that of order followed by the size. Now keep in the defaults for the type and the priority. Provide in the size. So KFC actually has given us a 300 cross 250 ad. So we'll provide in here 300 plus 250. Now the start time. So they actually want us to start immediately. And the deal is for the end of this month. And you remember that they were actually paying us 10,000. They were actually paying us for 10,000 impressions. And that was for $1. So here this, this currency is in Thai baht. So I'll actually mention it here in Thai baht. But our deal is in dollars, so don't get confused. We'll actually, you know, sort it out later on. Now we can keep all of these fields as it is. However, in this delivery impression, uh, please set it to as fast as possible now. So just quickly explaining to you guys what as fast as possible will do and why it is necessary while we are actually testing. So as fast as possible will ensure that you know ads are seen on our website all the times if we actually try to set it up evenly you know on some page loads or the ads will not be seen so in the testing uh, scenarios or while we are actually testing it's actually best to set it as 
as fast as possible so this will ensure that the ad is actually seen on all the page loads and the most important step is the inventory so we have to select in here the ad tool which we actually created so this is the medium rectangle now that's it click on save now we have to add the ad inside the line item so we are simply clicking on new creative in here and while it's actually taking time to load let's actually you know find in a landing page url for kfc so actually i'm just assuming a scenario in which you know kfc approached us but i uh, i'm not aware you know uh, uh, in actual scenarios kfc or your client would provide you with a landing page url however i'm just assuming in here and actually getting in a landing page url that my client would have actually provided me now the ad is actually sorry this creative types is actually loaded and we want to select in here image because kfc has provided us with an image now we simply navigate and we actually provide in the image that our client provided so this is the ad and the landing page url that we actually got just now and that's it guys click on save now we are done with actually creating order line item in creative however there's one small step that that's that is actually pending so if you actually see in here your line item is still in draft so one thing is one very important thing to note is you know your status of your line item would should should be actually in the ready status or else it will not start delivering so to ensure that this comes into delivery status we have to click on proof okay now the only thing you need to do is actually wait you need to wait for around 10 to 15 minutes to, for the ad to actually appear on the site i have actually waited for more than an hour and you can actually see that even one impression is recorded in here so let's go to the site to see whether we can see the ad going back to the local and clicking on open site voila we see the ad so this is the kfc ad we actually scheduled and yeah that is what we were looking for so this concludes this video thank you for watching my video please do like and subscribe if you really like the content also please let us know in the comment section of which ad manager topics you really find it difficult to understand and i'll ensure that i make video on the same topic for you thank you see you in the next bye bye